baby, come give me something on Hey everybody, it's Ivy and today we're going to be doing a hair tutorial and also wig review. I'm using the wig from Ally Pearl Hair and this is what the wig comes like. It's a full lace wig. It comes with four combs on the inside and also the adjustable bands in the back. This is how the lace looks. It's a really good quality lace, you guys. It matches my skin flawlessly. Like I'm so happy I'm not going to have to customize the lace. So this is what the wig looks like and the hair. I'm definitely going to have to bleach those knots. And here's the density on the wig. It's kind of thin, but for the look I'm going for, I wanted a thinner wig. So you just want to flip your wig inside out and you're going to go ahead and pin it to your wig head. And we're going to bleach the knots. So what you're going to need to bleach your knots, you're going to need rubber gloves, you're going to need a bowl and a brush. And I'm using L'Oreal Quick Blue and a 30 volume developer. And what you want to do is make this like a nice thick paste. You want it to be nice and thick so it doesn't seep through your knots and ruin your wig. So just go ahead and paint that on the area that you want bleached and be sure to have a light hand. It might look like I'm being kind of rough, but you guys, I'm, I have the lightest hand doing this because I don't want to ruin the wig. Once it's completely covered, I let this process for about 35 minutes and these are the results after washing it. And I went ahead and brushed my wig down on the wig head just so it can be flat and molded. So this is what it looks like when it's flat and molded. And here it is the next day after it was done drying. The knots are perfect, you guys. So now we're gonna get ready to pluck. You wanna go ahead and pin your hair back. And plucking your wig, you know, it's up to you, but the way I like to do it, I like to go around the perimeter first, and then I like to go behind the hairline just to thin it out. And I try to mimic my own natural hairline, so I kind of thin it out in more areas than others, trying to mimic my own hairline. So it's gonna be different based off, you know, what your hairline looks like. It's, it's just different from, for every person. And I like to do short strokes and little plucks. That way I get out more hair. And you, you guys, using a really good pair of tweezers helps as well. So you just wanna pluck and pluck and pluck and pluck until it starts looking natural. Be patient, you guys. This whole process can take about 30 to 45 minutes. It takes time, so just take your time, you guys. Don't pluck too much because once it's gone, you can't go back and fix it. So this is how it looks, and I took out quite a bit of hair. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. So now we're going to cut the lace, and I like to use a razor blade to cut the lace now because it just lays so flat, you guys. I, I don't know what it is about using a razor blade cutting the lace, but it just lays super, super flat. So go ahead and cut all of that lace off around the perimeter of your wig. And don't worry about cutting it straight. When you cut it kind of jagged, it looks more natural as well. Now we're gonna do our baby hairs and I'm gonna use a razor to cut my baby hairs. And what I like to do is pull the baby hairs out and I like to scrape the hair. Like you guys will see it, like you can you guys see it scraping? You wanna scrape it until the hair, you know, cuts. And this way your baby hairs will just lay so seamless and look so bomb, you guys. See how I'm just scraping it away? That's exactly how you wanna do it so it can lay very, very natural. I find that when I use scissors, like my baby hairs, I have those harsh edges, and this way it just, you guys, it lays so, so pretty. And I'm just doing baby hairs all around the perimeter of my unit. I'm not doing too many because too many baby hairs can give you a super, super fake look. Now I'm just shaping the baby hairs while it's still on the wig head, just so when I get ready to put it on my head, they're already pretty much formed and I don't have to do too much work. And as you guys can see, I'm doing a little sideburns. You know, I'm, you know, I'm doing the baby hairs. They're, they're cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron this wig a little bit, not too much, just giving it a nice little flat iron so it's easy to cut. And the flat iron I'm using is my Red by Kiss silicone flat iron. I love this thing. So now you're gonna need some clippers and you wanna measure off where you want your wig to hit you on your face and I like it right here. So what you wanna do is just go in with those clippers and cut 
straight across you want to keep your hand as steady as possible because you don't want to like mess up the cut but you can always go back and fix it as you guys can see i'm kind of you know making it all even and i'm doing it like this because this is like the easy cheat way to make a blunt cut i'm not too sure of how to do it with scissors this is just the way i know how to do it and it's super easy and super fast and it comes out so cute you guys so i wanted this to be a very very short bob blunt cut i think it's so cute for the fall i've been so into this style ever since i seen rihanna with it what was it last summer like this style is so cute to me and so chic for the fall so this is exactly how it looked and now i'm just gonna flat iron the wig again and give it a little bit of bump not too much bump just a little bit see See how I'm just bumping the ends just, just a tiny bit. And you wanna make sure you do this in small sections all around or your wig won't look right. You need to curl it in small sections. And this is pretty much what it looks like, you guys. So I'm just gonna put it on my head and look, look how it lays, you guys. It lays perfect. This isn't glued, this isn't anything. It just lays super perfect. And the lace matches my complexion like you guys look at that lace it matches so good and now i'm just going to do my baby hairs i'm using a bit of eco styler gel and an eyebrow brush and i really like how the baby hairs came out i kind of did them a little bit dramatic so you're going to see me go back and kind of like take away some because i don't like baby hair overly dramatic see i'm taking away a little bit you know the less the less baby hair the better a whole lot of baby hair just makes it look like you're hiding a bad lace so you guys this is the completed look tell me this isn't cute you guys i absolutely love this wig i love this style it is so different for me but it's so it's so fresh, it's so young, and I love it so much. So if you guys are interested in this wig, make sure you check the description bar. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumb this up, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Baby, come give me something on. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. I can tell you ain't from it. All that body, baby, it's not fair.